It sure is different this time around from the looks of it around town. The days of the doorbuster deals and camping out definitely appear to be over. Typically, Black Friday starts with those long lines in the wee hours of the morning. This morning, it was the opposite of that. It was very different. Mara McDonald went out shopping this morning with the rest of the retail overachievers. Here's what she saw. In a word, it was peaceful. No crazy lines, no people sleeping in tents, just simply in and out. An orderly line moving at a good clip the minute Target opened its doors this morning. The most anybody waited, maybe five minutes. Anything you're looking for in particular? Just things for my um, kid. Most didn't have a set plan. Just looking for great sales and it's nice to be out. Or following family tradition. We're doing the whole system here and then the mall. We stop for lunch, we get a manicure and then we regroup and do it again. But some dedicated shoppers know exactly what they want. I came to get the 65 inch Roku frameless TV. I actually walk, woke up about a half an hour ago and purchased it online. And so you've already, you've already bought it, you're just going to come in here and scoop it up? Yes, I bought it the other day at um, the Sterling Heights store. And about two hours later, they canceled my order. So Tanya got up around 6 a.m. and started trying again online and found it at the Target in Troy. And sure enough, $299. Don't mistake all this calm at the stores today with a lack of sales. Retail analysts say that American consumers are expected to shell out $859 billion this holiday season. That blows all the prior estimates out of the water. We're in Troy. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, thank you, Mara. Another trend over the past few years is retailers staying closed on Thanksgiving Day to allow employees to enjoy their holiday. Just this month, Target said that decision to stay closed on Thanksgiving is now permanent.